In the story of Dragon Ball, after decades of speculation, the true canon story of what happened to Goku's parents was only finally confirmed and animated recently in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie released in 2018. In this movie, we finally saw briefly the arrival of Bardock, the father of Goku, and for the very first time, saw and heard the voice of Jinae, the mother of Goku. In the official story, we know of what happened to Bardock, and without question, he died a hero, trying to defeat Frieza, and became so popular in the fandom that he later appeared in non-canon films where he became a Super Saiyan and ultimately then defeated an ancestor of Frieza. For Jinae, however, she became a forgotten relic and just assumed to have died with the rest of the Saiyans. But this mother, who quite uniquely absolutely loved and adored her child Kakarot, crying at his departure to Earth, unlike the rest of the brutal warrior Saiyan race, never did quite receive that same love and attention in the fandom, despite her tragic story of never ever meeting her son again. At least until now. In this manga story of how Jinae did in fact meet Goku on Earth once more and what happened as a result. This story is one for all the true Dragon Ball fans, past and present, so watch this one all the way to the end and feel free to share with any Goku or Jinae fans out there. Enjoy. So the story begins actually in the future of this timeline, on planet Namek, where a terrible battle is taking place. It is the battle between Frieza, the cold demon that has brought chaos and terror in the galaxy for several decades against an opponent that no one ever imagined would face him. Just like in the original timeline, Krillin and Gohan look on with absolute disbelief while the deceased Piccolo lays behind them. In the distance, we see a full power Frieza being held immobilized by a golden figure. How did this happen? I can't believe it! Damn it! Frieza's hand is twisted even more by the mysterious figure. Damn monkey! This will not stay like this! We begin to see the silhouette of the mysterious warrior. Clearly it's a Super Saiyan, but it doesn't seem to be Goku. Standing before the completely defeated Frieza is a Super Saiyan Jinae, the mother of Goku. <laughs> now to understand what is happening, we have to go back several years. We all know the story of Son Goku, a low class warrior who with much effort and training became the strongest warrior in the universe. But what would have happened if this trip from the beginning wasn't completed alone? We already know that the evil one Frieza destroyed all of the Saiyans and the sacrifice that my husband Bardock made for trying to stop him. But no one really knows what happened to me. My name is Jinae. I am the mother of Kakro, known on Earth as Son Goku. And I'm going to tell you my story in this alternate universe which nobody knows. Everything starts on a distant planet Vegeta. In a world where strength dominates, there is no place for the weak. As is customary in our culture, those born of a low fighting power are sent to other planets. The babies are sent away as the years go by may potentially become strong enough to conquer the planet which they are sent. As and when they do, they could return as warriors and have a place with us. But most of the time, they never come back. No, Kakarot! His power level is still too small! He has no training! He won't survive! It's too dangerous! Let me go! Kakarot! Enough of the nonsense, Jinae! The bold Saiyan Elite throws Jinae to the ground. He looks down pitifully at the young female Saiyan, who is now in tears. Be a Saiyan warrior! Do not even think of the silly idea of going after your son, because if you interfere, your punishment would be... Well, let's just say that it wouldn't be good for you. If you really want to see him again, you just have to wait a couple of years. Although, honestly, 
I don't think he survives. <laughs> That's enough. And Gene, it's probably better if you leave. Or otherwise, there may be problems. Besides, they inform me that Bardock has returned. But apparently, he's injured. Maybe you should go and see him. Bardock is hurt? That's nothing new. They're a family of losers after all. The slightly injured Gene picks herself up with her mood slightly changed now that Bardock is back. Bardock? He came back? As my cousin Nappa would have said, a loser will always be a loser. Is that why your cousin has the important task of taking care of the Prince Vegeta and you were only left here? SHUT UP! Gine, with tears in her eye, looks into the sky and knows it's a shining star. The remnants, perhaps, of baby Kakarot leaving the planet. A few minutes later, Gine is seen walking alone. Gine was walking towards the healing room, thinking Bardock would be there. But in her mind, there was a conflict. She didn't want to leave her son Kakarot in a world where he could die. But she couldn't do anything about it either. Maybe I should trust Kakarot and the warrior instinct of the same to keep him alive. For now, I must see Bardock. I hope his injuries aren't serious. Suddenly, from a room behind her, Gene, wait a moment. Huh? What happened here? Maybe that is... Blood? Is someone hurt? Are they okay? Gene, you better go find Bardock. I think he's been hit pretty hard in the head because he was saying some crazy things. He came running in here trying to convince us of something crazy to tell us to turn against Lord Frieza. By the way, the blood you see on the ground is from Bardock. He's really injured. Bardock? What? Suddenly, the possible severity of Bardock's injuries strike Gene. But. Bardock is supposed to be in the recovery chamber! Where has he gone? Well, he went running straight to the observatory. You better make him come to his senses before he does something stupid and get us all in trouble! And with those words, Gene rushes at her top speed towards the observatory. First Kakarot, and now Bardock! What's going on? As she turns the corner, she sees the light. Bardock! What happened to you? I hope you're here. And just as the saint had said, at the top of the observatory, a bloody Bardock has seen the father of Goku. <sighs> Cursed Frieza! You won't get away with it. I'll finish you. Bardock! Huh? He turns to look behind him, and there his wife is, Gine. Bardock, what are you doing? Gene? It's you? <laughs> A sudden pain strikes Bardock, debilitating him in an instant. Bardock! But, what happened to you? They told me that you have some crazy idea of revealing yourself against the Great Freezer. Why are you not in the infirmary? Gene? Look at you! You urgently need medical attention! Gene! I'll take you to the medical capsule, and on the way, you can explain everything that is happening to you. Gene! Shut up and listen to me! At the sound of his voice, Gene quiets down a bit. Bardock. Pay close attention. I want you to steal a spaceship and then leave for Kakarot to the planet Earth. That is the planet where he was sent. If you stay here, for sure. You will die. What do you mean? Frieza plans to destroy our Saiyans. Toma and the others were already killed on the orders of that monster. It can't be. Now that damn monster comes to destroy the planet Vegeta. Are you absolutely sure of what you're saying? Look with your own damn eyes. Gine looks up and in the sun notices the spaceship of Frieza. <gasps> Why is Frieza approaching the planet Vegeta? I already told you, he comes with the intention of destroying us. 
Now don't waste your time and escape now. Try to locate Raditz. Hopefully he can also save himself. I know all of this seems crazy, but you have to believe me. I... I believe you. But it's suicide to go alone. I'll go back to the dining room and try to convince everyone else to help you. It's useless! I tried to convince those idiots. But they don't believe me. I'll face Freezer alone. If you go alone, that monster is going to kill you. Let me go with you. We fight together. No way. You would only hinder me. And with those words, Jean A pities herself, knowing that what he says is true. Bardock! In his final moments, Jean A gives Bardock one last final hug. If I can't defeat Frieza, at least I'll give you enough time to escape. Promise me, you'll survive and become stronger. I promise you. And with that, Jine leaves Bardock, never to see him ever again. Bardock looks back with a smile at his wife, knowing that he saved her life. Frieza, I'm going to destroy you! that the two Saiyans part in opposite directions with two completely different fates. Quick! I need the coordinates of the planet where my son Kakarot was sent! J- Jine? Jine, you know I can't give you that information. Also, you don't have the authorization to be here. We're going to have to ask you to leave. Get out of my way! Security! Come quick! To the control room! Gene has gone crazy! Gene reaches the control center and erratically begins typing, searching for Kakarot. Where are you, my son? I found you! Now, I'll place your coordinates in another space pod. Gene? You again? Now you're in serious trouble! Perfect. Now I just have to... <gasps> and with a tight grip, Gina is grabbed by Nappa's cousin. We warned you not to come back for your son! You don't understand! You have to escape from Planet Vegeta quickly! What are you talking about? Ignore it. I was informed that Bardock was also saying nonsense about how Frieza would try to destroy the planet Vegeta. She's trying to deceive us. She only wants to go for her son. I see. We will take you to King Vegeta. He will decide your punishment. I can't wait to know what your sentence will be. Will he lock you up? Will he banish you? Or will he sentence you to death? Or something worse? <laughs> What's happening? What is this shaking? It can't be... Bardock! <sighs> I don't have time anymore! I have no choice! I have to take a chance! <sighs> what are you doing? Why are you attacking at such short distance? You're gonna be hurt too! <clears throat> Out of the smoke, an injured Gina jumps through. Damn woman, really are crazy. I need that scouter. <laughs> Is that all you've got? What pathetic attacks. You need more than that if you want to beat me and... Raditz, can you hear me? <sighs> Suddenly, Gina is afflicted with the same sudden pain that Bardock had earlier. I think the explosion caused me a lot of damage. Come on, Gina, get up! 
I'm so close to their skateboard, I can't give up. Reddits, can you hear me? Reddits! Apparently Freezer's blocking all communications. No. Reddits. Gene manages to get within the space pod and activate his launch signal. You let a woman as weak as Gene leave you in ridicule. Shut up! You did nothing! The injured Gene, just as she escapes, notices a bright light outside her window. What is that? It seems to be a sphere of energy, and it's coming from Freezer's spacecraft. If that thing collides with the planet, it'll destroy it. Bardock, where are you? Bardock, I don't see you. Where are you? Bardock! No! Just as she escapes, behind her, she sees the complete annihilation destruction of planet Vegeta, along with her husband Bardock. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the aftermath of Planet Vegeta's destruction, Soldier, inform me, are there any survivors, or were there any escape capsules released? No sir, the radar shows no signs of life. Everything seems to indicate that there were no survivors. Soldier Zarbon, tell me, were there any survivors? No, sir. I'm informed that no one is left alive. Congratulations. All Saiyans are dead. Perfect. I finally got rid of those hateful Saiyans. I won't have to worry about that silly legend of the Super Saiyan anymore. Huh? What's going on? It seems there may have been something on the radar. But there's nothing now. Hmm. For sure it was just my imagination. Nobody could survive that explosion. Somewhere in outer space, however, Gina is still alive. The space capsule suffered a lot of damage due to the explosion of the planet. As a result, it wasn't detected by the soldiers of Frieza, and for almost a year, she was travelling towards Earth. Gina was still injured. She had entered into her deep sleep to save energy and be able to withstand the long journey. But the space capsule was starting to fail. She wakes up. The life support of the ship no longer works. I think this is the end. Bardock, I'm sorry. I can't seem to keep your promise. What is that? The Earth? I can't believe it. I finally made it to Earth. Too hot. Please, spaceship, resist a little more. In the massive crater left behind by the wreckage, a small body can be seen. It's Gine, and she is still barely alive. I think I'm still in one piece. Ugh, it hurts. After some time, Gina is on her feet, walking barely. I thought that hypersleep would heal my wounds, but it wasn't like that. The ship was badly damaged and only just about kept me alive. The important thing is that I'm finally on Earth. I must find Kakarot. His ship must be near here. Huh? <gasps> what is that? Saiyan instinct in her still remains and the dinosaur scurries off. I'm so sorry, but I haven't travelled this far to let you eat me. <laughs> Again, the same sudden pain afflicts her once more. I, I can't move my body. Apparently, the last thing I had of my strength was in that kick. And with that, Gina collapses. But a strange figure notices her. K Kakarot? Standing above her is Grandpa Gohan, and on his back is Baby Kakarot. Goku 
can finally see his mother. But Bardock! She closes her eyes, now lost in consciousness. In this universe, Jinae has survived the extinction of the Saiyans, and her participation in the world of Dragon Ball is about to change history as you know it. To be continued. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me a hashtag Jinae in the comments with your thoughts on the story so far, and if you're looking forward to part 2 when it's finally made. This story is one fans have been asking for for a long time, so leave your likes, leave your comments, and share, share, share to get this in the feed of as many Dragon Ball fans as possible. If you're somehow new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to join our army, and if you just want to see more of my signature style of manga videos, I recommend clicking on one of these two videos on the right, which have hundreds of thousands of views between them. Until next video guys, cheers.